The world is very different now. Ladies and gentlemen, if y'all can remember, a year or so ago, I did a video speaking on the fact that there was a young woman right here in Charlotte, North Carolina, where I'm from, in Charlotte, North Carolina, who had made her daughter stand in a room for three days straight until she fell and fatal, fate and suffered fatal injuries. This little girl was murdered by her mother. This is the mother who did the killing of her child. Now, I know some of y'all are probably like, working man, why is you bringing this old video back? There's a reason for that. And we'll get into it. This is the child murder of a four-year-old girl who went by the name of Malika Bennett. The mother's name is Malika Bennett. Sorry. And it says, Malika Bennett is facing multiple charges, multiple charges, in connection with the death of her four-year-old daughter, Majelic Young. That's the name. Majelic Young. A North Carolina mom allegedly forced her four-year-old daughter to, to stand for three straight days as punishment, causing the girl to become so weak that she fell and suffered fatal injuries, authority said. Now, there's a reason why I'm bringing this video back, fellas, and we finna get into it. Now, as we go back up, she forced her four-year-old daughter to stand for three days as punishment. Now, I'm going I'm to break this down to y'all and tell y'all why this little girl was punished. Okay? This is the house where the murder was committed. And if you go up this driveway, go up this driveway, and you go in that backyard back there, the family, that's, they still living in this house. Well, the father and the uncles are living in this house. And if you go in the backyard now, right now today in the backyard, right back in here, there is like a burial plot where the mother had actually, after she killed this little girl, the mother actually buried the child in the backyard. And we're going to get into it and I'm going to break this down to y'all how I know this shit. says, a report indicated Majelic Young body was found in the backyard of the family's home in Charlotte. Now, I'm going to break this down to y'all and tell y'all how I found this shit out. Here is the picture of the beautiful young girl who was murdered by her mother. I met the father of this little girl yesterday. I met the father of this child yesterday. Now let's get into it. Now remember, a couple of years ago when I did this video, I told y'all that this, the murder of this child happened maybe a few blocks from my house. I can ride to the scene where this situation happened from my house, I can, I can jump in my car and ride there and, and be there in less than 10 minutes. Where well, this beautiful young girl was murdered by her mother. Now, remember, I told y'all that this situation happened not far from my house. And right now today, the father of this little girl and her uncles 
are staying at this house. For years, I've been knowing the little girl's uncles and didn't realize and even know that they was the uncles of this child. Now let's get into it. Here is the mother, the murderer of the child. Now remember, I told y'all that this happened not far from my house. And for months, I've been going to the house where this little girl was murdered and didn't even realize it. I was just here yesterday. And me and the uncles were standing outside having a conversation. I had my truck parked here. The uncle had his truck parked here. He got his trailers parked back here, got his dogs in the yard or whatever the case may be. And we got into a conversation and I was like, man, do you remember when that little girl was killed by her mother? And he was like, yeah, that happened here. And I was like, wait a minute. All the times that I've been coming to this house, for some reason, I thought the murder of this child happened down the street at the corner house. And every day that I've been coming to this house, I've always been riding past another house saying, man, this is where the murder of this child happened. And come to find out, the child was murdered at this very house that I always go to quite, quite frequently. And I was like, wow. I was like, wait a minute, man. And, you know, we, we talk and I was like, I did a video on this and we rapped about it and we talked about it. And that's when he took me in the backyard and showed me like the little plot that they left for the little girl. Of course, the little girl is not buried back there at this moment. But they showed me where in the backyard where they had left the little plots and the decorations or whatever the case may be, because the mother of the child had buried this little girl in the backyard. And like I say, the, the burial plots and the decorations are still there. I seen this with my own eyes. Fellas, only thing I'm saying is be careful where you stick in your phallus and be careful who you having children with. Now, once again, the article says that the little girl was forced to stand for three days as punishment. You know why this little girl was being punished by this woman? This woman simply punished this little girl only because she hated the father. The little girl didn't even know the mother. I spoke to the uncle and the father yesterday. The little girl didn't even know the mother. She knew the father and his family. The little girl was staying with the father. This, this woman didn't even want the child from jump. But come to find out what happened, it was a holiday. And the father asked the mother, asked the child, what does she want to do for this holiday? And the child said, daddy, I want to meet my mommy. Now, the father and the uncles was having a conversation or whatever, and the father was like, man, I don't know. I don't feel comfortable because she don't know her. He broke down and he did it, and he took this beautiful angel to spend time with her mother. The mother hated the daughter from the time she walked in the door simply because she hated the father. She hated the father so much that she made this beautiful young angel stand for three days until she fell and had a fatal injury and she died. Then the mother took this precious young woman, took this precious young girl and buried her in the backyard of this house. Now, as I stood right here in this very driveway with my truck parked here yesterday and had a conversation with the uncle, he told me the whole story and how it all went down. It's so sad that this woman can do this to a child. But the point that I'm trying to make today is, fellas, 
my spirit been leading me to this house every weekend. And for whatever reason, I thought this situation happened 